Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pashardadis and joining me is lead investment analyst Rafi Boyajian. We'll be discussing upcoming U.S. data and the outlook for the dollar. So Rafi, there have been conflicting indicators on the strength of the U.S. recovery lately, with markets struggling to make sense of it all. We'll get the core PCE price index on Friday. Do you think a jump in inflation will trigger a significant reaction from the Fed? So Maria, there is indeed a lot of focus on this core PC price index. Uh, so this is the, the, the Fed's preferred measure of inflation, uh, which it targets uh, for its uh, achieving its inflation goal. Uh, and so far, we haven't seen the same explosion higher in the core PC rate as we have in the consumer uh, price index. However, in April, uh, that uh, probably changed uh, because uh, analysts are forecasting that the core PC price index jumped to 2.9% year on year versus 1.8% in the prior month. And that would take it the highest since 1993. Uh, and although uh, this would be, you know, symbol symbolically would uh, mean um, that, that inflation is uh, overshooting well above uh, the Fed's target, uh, nevertheless, uh, this has pretty much it's pretty much what we're expecting and markets know that inflation will jump higher because of that low base effect from 2020. Uh, but in addition to that, of course, uh, the Fed has been insisting that uh, it will overlook uh, any surges in inflation. And we had more of that repetition of that message from the Fed uh, this week. A number of policymakers uh, reiterated that the inflation jump will be temporary uh, and these supply issues uh, that are causing inflation uh, to rise significantly, they will fade over time. Uh, and that now is not the time to talk about tap tapering. Um, so this uh, reinforced uh, the growing expectation that the Fed will not respond to the inflation data in the short term. Uh, and they will probably wait uh, either in the aut late summer or in the autumn uh, before acting uh, once they see uh, that uh, inflation, uh, what, whether or not inflation is temporary or not. Okay, we'll also get personal income and consumption figures on Friday, as well as durable goods orders for April on Thursday. What should we watch out for there and how might this data affect the US dollar? So on the whole, we shouldn't expect a huge reaction to these data. We already know that the US economy is doing well. Uh, and uh, that narrative did change slightly recently because uh, before expectations were that the U.S. economy is doing really well. Now it's more like it's doing quite well. Uh, and so uh, on the whole, the, the data coming up shouldn't really change uh, that picture, though we might see some sensitivity to the personal consumption data. Uh, if there is a big surprise there, an upside surprise, uh, that could push Treasury yields uh, higher uh, and in turn it would lift the U.S. Uh, dollar. Uh, and more importantly, if we see both consumption and PC inflation coming in much stronger than expected, then that could change. Um, there's a bigger chance that we could that could change things for the dollar uh, and uh, we could see a uh, more significant pickup in uh, treasury yields. Otherwise, our, uh, if we don't see huge reaction to the data, it doesn't really change the, the, the current narrative, uh, then we're likely to see more downside for the greenback in the near term. Rafi, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.